it's crazy how I'm back home and nobody want to work out no more. So like it didn't pass, it didn't pass generation and generation just just died off back in Carbon now. Sometimes that makes it hard to do any basketball camps back home. When people don't want to play basketball. Yeah, that's a mystery. That's crazy. Man. So that's why I just I do a basketball tournament. Everybody play a basketball tournament when like Dan Cross they said Dan Cross's camp is slow I mean a lot of they don't, they don't go to it like we used to go to it. You know, the kids go to it, people complain about the money, how much it is. It's just terrible. Terrible. I get more supporters in Seattle than I do back home. And I'm not even from Seattle. When you sacrifice something, it's like, what are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to sacrifice going, going out? Are you willing to sacrifice you know, going to the gym, getting more shots up when, when the doors are locked and they won't let you in and you're just outside? Are you, what are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to sacrifice um, going over film? Or are you willing to sacrifice just by going to a fan and telling them thank you for, for all the support, making a smile on their, putting a smile on their face? Are you willing to sacrifice going to class, getting extra help just so you can, you can make a business of yourself outside of sports? You know, what are you, it's just, it's what are you willing to sacrifice to get what you want? Whether it's going overseas or staying an extra year in high school to, to better yourself in your career. I mean, sacrifice don't also don't mean short term, it means long term. So it's just, what are you willing to sacrifice? Hey, you should see if we can get uh, in on a package deal. Is that Chuck? Is that Chucky? <laughs> what up? He told me about your uh, episodes of Jack It Off, too. He's about to start wearing headbands. He's he getting he get that LeBron James. You ever get that LeBron James? Yeah. No, that don't mean that LeBron James said that same thing. My first time out of Sacramento, I worked out with Gus. It was cool, but then I was like, it was like I was, uh, I was scared to fall back into working hard or somebody pushing me like I was in college. I felt like when I went to college, I didn't feel, they pushed me, but I didn't think they was pushing me in the right direction. They pushed me, it, you know, a dollar was hard on me, but it wasn't, you know, I didn't feel like it was a good hard. And then I came out to Sacramento, he pushed me the same way, and I was like, I, I ran from it. I went back to Seattle. And then I, um, I just played the summer league. I just was like, man, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it on my own. Rip middle, spin back. Good, Kyle. Rip middle, spin back. Good, nah. Gus is a goofy dude, but at the same time, he can be serious. You know, when, when we on the court and we, you know, we're not taking any breaks, he's a serious dude. He wants you to go at game speed. If you're not going at game speed. He quick to say, "Get on the line. Give me up and down." You know, so he's a he's a good dude, and it's a guy that I need when I'm working out. Somebody that's gonna push me, but at the same time, that's gonna laugh and giggle. You know, that's not gonna be too serious. And I, I think I like that. That's one thing I like about Gus. Being back, good, Drew. Go other way, other way, to the middle. Rip through, being back. That was, that was the easiest defense I ever had to play. <laughs> you know, people think you owe them something, but you don't owe anybody anything. You worked all that hard to get to that point. You put in all the hours to get where you need to get or get to that, that, that level that you need to get. Nobody, they didn't do that. They weren't there. Like, like, they wasn't with you shooting in the gym. Let's 
good, cause I'm old. Get that shit out of here. Um, overseas is, is tough. Uh, that's why it's so tough to making that decision because um, last summer I, I went to Venezuela and um, you know all my stuff was stolen from my apartment. After I told the, um, the ownership that I would like to stay in a, um, a hotel where there's guards or I feel more comfortable because I, I did research on Venezuela. It's, it's, it's kind of dangerous. But um, three days in my apartment uh, me and my roommate came home to an empty apartment. Things were stolen. Laptops, my roommate's passports, um, clothes, money. And it just left a bad taste in my mouth about going over there. So uh, that's, that's one of the things I'm, I'm, I'm nervous about if I go overseas. It's just the, uh, the danger to come with going overseas towards not only Americans, just foreigners to that country. So it, it's tough. You know what I'm saying? Look, Pat Mill, kill him. Bop. Like every, time, every time I watch some basketball on TV, I always watch it and then I play the game, like <laughs> reenactment of the, of the game. Um, the, the perfect situation for me is a team that's going to accept me for who, what I am or who I am as a player, a team that's going to put me in a place to be successful and, and you know on and off the court uh, I won't I'm looking for a team that's gonna put me in the right neighborhood that, you know want to be okay um, a team that's just this gonna look out for you you know if things don't go our way with me and the team we have any misagreements that they're not gonna stab me in the back with another team oh he's this type of player that type of player so uh, mainly just the quality of um, what level the the, um, the league is the league is High, like one league, two league. I want to always be in the one league because I feel like my, my level of play is um, at the top and at the one. So we look for Euro League or some team with a lot of money, but it's really not about the money. It's about playing at the highest level possible and, and the money would be a reward. Oh, uh, he, he, he thinking I got money anyway, so my well get something fake. They're going to be like, yeah, that's real. Yeah, my hey, my cousin did that. <laughs> I had I bought a fake Louis bag, back like a uh, lace bag. She was like, "Oh, I know that's real." I said, "Yep, it is. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> it's, yeah, I paid about two thousand for it." She was like, "Yeah." Uh -huh. Everybody gonna be about fifty. I'm calling it. U.S.A. Step through. Score. Yep. No dribble, though. Step through. Good. Pursuing, yeah, the, the most, like, one of the most important things about pursuing a career overseas, D-League, um, prep school, NBA is support. And I think if you don't have a great support system, I think when you're done, you're going to be miserable. Not miserable, but you're going to be lonely. And you're going to be um, kind of wishing you had that because falling back on that, when you're when you at a, 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 a level, a certain level in your career, a lot of people are going to be around you. A lot of people that, that, that wasn't around you before you even got to that point. They're always going to come up to you and say, oh, I knew you was going to make it. Oh, I did this. No, they didn't. You did it yourself. And when that, when you go downhill, and you don't have them people, you have the support. It's it's it goes a long way. Like being in the house, like you can. Like when I was in Israel, uh, I was there 
a little bit alone, but mostly with my, my with the girlfriend at the time. When she left, it was crazy coming home to an empty place because I had nobody to come talk to about my day. And then and I was on different time zones, so I couldn't call home, so it's, it's tough. So I, I say the support of family, friends, girlfriends, husbands, anything is, is, is very important when you're doing a, a sport of going abroad. It was tough, light, but um, the light was the ones that hurt the most. The, the tough ones are the ones that, that some people say easy, but to me, all the light and the hard are hard to me. Now it's time to get a nice little lunch, probably some Jama Juice, and chill out to our next basketball workout tonight. <laughs> 